You suck at using pointers. Otherwise, you wouldn't have clicked this video. Thankfully, after today, you'll suck less. And your parents may tell you that they love you for the first time. Okay, we all know the standard deal of pointers pointing to an address in memory. But have you ever thought about how we can have pointers pointing to an array? I mean, it's supposed to point to one thing, not seven. That's crazy. Here, pointer arithmetic comes in with the clutch job to say. Pointer arithmetic means that we add or subtract pointers in different ways. This can be in a lot of different ways, which we won't go through, but I will go through some things that I actually bothered to write down. You see, I don't have a lot of time to do this as I spend 16 hours a day making generational wealth, smoking f and performing sinful pre marriage hand holding. An array is basically several values of the same time next to each other in the memory all linked up. Almost as linked up as the people I have tricked into my Ponzi scheme. The pointer points to the first value in the array's address and then if we want to access the next value we increment the pointer by one which we do by typing this. So the pointer never actually points to the whole array it just takes turn pointing to the different values. But daddy wouldn't increasing the pointer where one just point to the next byte. I mean integers take up four bytes. Good observation young one. However, as C is such a noble and superior language, we actually don't have to worry. The program isn't the next TV wonder, it knows what data type we are working with in the array. Therefore, it automatically increments the size with the amount of bytes that the value of the array takes up. So in an int array, it increments with 4, in a char array, 1, and in my array 6457893268 it is also thanks to pointer arithmetic that we can print out strings a string is just an array of shards so to print it out we just do a loop where we increment the pointer each time this means that the program prints out each character in order right after one another another cool thing we can do with pointer arithmetic is subtracting pointers with other pointers if we add an array of let's say ints and then two pointers representing different values we can subtract the pointers to get how many values there are between the pointers in the array Therefore, we will get three in this case, and one in this, just like I am trapped at Beard Street, one New York. <laughs>